What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday and we are back with an epic national midfielders pack. Maradona, Pirlo and Xabi Alonso. Now listen, I will say something lads from these trailers. A lot of people have been waiting for this Maradona whole player card. And a lot of people have been waiting. I mean a lot, a lot, a lot for Pirlo. Pirlo is definitely probably one of the... I would say that he's in the Hullet, Roy Karts, you know, Vieira slash kind of them guys. Um, I feel like he's definitely one of the most complete midfielders because you can have him defensive while still having everything going forward. You can have him really attacking, but very solid at the back. So we are going to be focusing a little bit in more detail on Pirlo and building him up and testing him out later on in the live stream because we will be spinning, right? We'll be streaming there in a little bit. So keep an eye on that. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. But for this pack here, I mean, it is going to be for seven days. You can always wait to Thursday until Thursday to see what else comes Thursday and then see if they add new packs. But it is a fairly decent pack. I mean, I'm not going to get too... Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously these players here, the national team selection, they're not going to really concern us too much. Honestly, they're not. And even Jabby Alonso, lads, right, just to get this out of the way. I'm not going to make this video that long because obviously we will be streaming later. We'll go into it in, in depth and test things out. Um, but the booster that Alonso has... Is going to be for a ball control dribble and tight possession and low possession. Uh, it's technique plus two. And that is also going to be aided by the fact that he's got one touch pass, true pass and way to pass, low lofted. But also have an interception, sliding tackle and fighting spirit. The problem with the likes of Xabi Alonso is even though he's very good going forward with the ball, he can't play attacking midfielder off the rip. He is missing a couple of key stats, uh, you know, to play him attacking midfielder if you want to. He has got long ball expert and long ranger. But his passing is going to be fantastic. But his speed and his balance is going to be a big issue if you run and gun with him. So what I like to do with my attacking midfielders is I usually like to have nimble players. And if I'm going for a kind of a taller player, I'm looking to get maybe a creative playmaker in there. Now, orchestrators are good. They have improved orchestrators. But that speed and acceleration for the current gameplay is just going to get eaten alive. Now, that's not to say that you can just keep Xabi Alonso in the pocket like Tom Brady pinging passes all over the park right you can but I just feel that like you're kind of you don't need to make these sacrifices with other players because of the passing at the moment I mean Javi Alonso's got passing off the rip at 85 low pass his dribbling is 72 you can up that a little bit but most of the stats are going to be going into speed and acceleration right and I feel that you're going to have to empty the tank into a lot of those stats just to bring it up to a level playing field with him but listen it will be a nice card if you do spin him. If you're looking for something different, he's got 33 levels. It is going to be pretty decent. And he's down as the Real Madrid there. You can see him as his club Real Madrid. That's something that, that they've added with V3.6. But I think it's going to be all about Maradona and Pirlo, lads, right? Maradona, we're going to show you a build for Maradona, courtesy of OC. But this is the build I'm going to go with, 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 with him here, with Maradona. The big thing about Maradona, lads, right? Not only does he look the part, he's down with Napoli here as his club. So he can play in any of the club events for Napoli as well, which is a nice thing that they've started to do now. Um, dribbling and tight possession off the rip is going to be into the 90s. That's one of the only cards that has that. Including that, you've got ball control, balance and acceleration that are going to be 84, 85 and 85 respectively, starting with acceleration. It's a ridiculous card as a whole player. I really like whole players, right? I'll be honest. I didn't like whole players at the start of eFootball 23, and then I actually started to think they were the best. Then they boosted them massively. They have been really strong over the last couple of months. Then they kind of nerfed them a bit. But I do think that they are back a little bit now. And I definitely feel that once you get used to playing with a whole player and you're playing that attacking midfielder style, it's just, you know, the range of everything that he can do is, is, is really, really nice, right? Obviously, the weak part of Maradona. We're going to show you here the build of Maradona, right? This is, a, this is kind of a build that I would probably go for. I'd probably take down the ball control, dribbling a tight position, just a smidge, just a smidge. It is going to be at 101, which, you know, I don't really see a point in going over 100 or even going past 98 with a lot of these ball control stats. If you can get it to 99, yeah, brilliant. But I would definitely probably pop in one or two more for finishing. I'd try get that finish into 85. Um, and I would leave the passing, you know, down. I would probably put the passing at like about maybe 88. Uh, I would probably put the dribbling and the tight possession at probably like 100 or maybe even 99 and then the rest into finishing. But it's a phenomenal card. I mean, you're going to be maxing out his balance, his speed, his acceleration. And I genuinely do feel like that if you are taking a look at this card here and you're looking at the stats that you have with Maradona, who's going to go to 103 overall, 
it really is a fantastic option to have him there. Because if you are using Maradona and a lot of the whole players left at the moment, a lot of the whole players at the moment are really, really, really like, I won't say like that they're, they're, they're the best in the game, but they are really kind of like unstoppable if you, get to, if you get to play with them quite well and if you actually get them to go into the right positions, right? Now, I'm just going to show you really quickly here that we actually have a comparison here between the old free Maradona. Now, you get this Maradona when you are doing all the, the free training penalties, right? And I'm just going to show you this really quickly because it is quite interesting just the way that they've gone with the players and with the cards this season, right? I do feel like that this is probably something that they will feature a little bit even more, I would say. But if we just kind of train up Maradona here, it is a classic number 10. But if you look at his ball control, dribbling, tight possession, low pass, finishing, speed, acceleration, and balance, and 85 attacking awareness, it's a fairly decent card for a freebie. You're like, this is going to be 100 overall Maradona versus this 103 overall Maradona. So it's really going to be that ball control, dribbling, tight possession that kind of like extend his stats out. And I do feel like that this Maradona will be beastly. There's no doubt about that. But yeah, if you do have the other Maradona, I think the biggest reason for it, honestly, is because of the whole player. That's probably the biggest reason for it. Because the whole player will play slightly different. He also has Trickster. Amazing run, incisive run and long ranger. Double touch, Marseille turn, way to pass, low lofted, true passing. He doesn't have one touch pass. That is a bit of a concern. You'll definitely need to give him that, but... Yeah, I mean, he looks the part, lads, and I know a lot of people are going to spin for him. It is a fantastic pack with Pirlo and him in it. It's definitely one of the best duos that they've released. And then on to Pirlo. As I said, I'm not going to spend too much time on him. This is what I'm talking about with an orchestrator. Look at the difference between Pirlo as an orchestrator and Xavi Alonso. Yes, Pirlo does have nice defensive stats off the rip, but it's, you know, he's got slow speed. He's only got 66 speed. But this is the perfect example of somebody in center midfield that you just have aggressive kind of sitting in as an anchorman type player. Um, but that's going to be able to get around the pitch a little bit better because of his high stamina. And of course, because you're going to be, you know, you're going to be training him slightly different. His passing skills are not as good um, as Xavi Alonso if you train him just for that. But he's got 37 levels, lads. Absolutely insane. This is the Pirlo I'm going to focus more on in my, in, my, in my live stream later. And I definitely think that we're going to try and get that aggression to about 85. We're going to get his tight possession and dribbling and low pass all into the 90s. And then we're going to just max out the rest into his speed, his acceleration, his kicking power and balance. You're going to be getting his balance nearly up to 90, boys. It's, it's insane. It's, it's an insane card. He just has no real weakness. Yes, you can look at the speed and you can say it's only 66. You pop 10 into that, you're only getting it to 75, 76. Yes, but you don't need that speed with this player. You think of him as kind of like an anchorman that's going to be sitting deep beside a DMF or else as your sole DMF, kind of like Tony Crows or any of them. Now, it's a fantastic card, lads. He has one touch pass. He has low lofted, weighted, true passing. Don't need to touch his passing stats or skills, obviously. Long range shooting, pinpoint crossing, outside curler. He's got soul control. You can give him double touch and flip flap if you want to get him silky in midfield. It's a fantastic card, lads. I would, I would obviously look at giving him interception as well if you want to go that defensive route. Um, they have toned up defense or interception a little bit more for the defense, but we will be focusing on him in the live stream. Let me know if you guys spun or are you going to skip and let me know what you guys think of this pack and I'll talk to you in a little bit. I'll see you in the stream in a little bit, boys.